that's an exciting time, I think. What I want is a celebration of the city. That is one of the reasons why I'm doing Swansea Past, Present and Future. It could build up into a very, very big event. For the people who, who will be watching this, can you say who you are and what you do? Yeah, my name is Jeff Phillips. I'm uh, an artist born and raised in Swansea. Um, for many years, I worked in Swansea Market. I was there for 16 years, up until the year 2000. And in the year 2000, I created an educational uh, work um, for uh, a project for the Millennium Award project. And uh, I became a lifelong fellow with the um, winning um, a Millennium Award for the year 2000. As a self-declared Jack yourself, obviously Swansea plays a, a big part in much of your work, including a project you're working on right now, the evidence of which is, is behind you as well, isn't it? This is very much so. Um, I, I mean, I, I, when I spent time in Swansea Market, I mean, 16 years in the market, and. Swansea to me, I've, I've always had a great, very keenness on, on its history, in particular with the Copper Quarter and um, how Swansea's docks were developed. And, and of course, we, we've seen over the years, uh, you see things uh, deteriorating, getting quieter. But the, the Lower Swansea Valley project that I had the great fortune to see being created was something that absolutely changed the way I think about the city because the whole of, I mean, Swansea was so derelict when I was young. Uh, everything, the copper works had been sort of half demolished and half the buildings were standing. There were slag tips, massive slag tips. There were sulfur tips. And I, what I, I try and do these days is to tell the story I love to tell the story about it and certainly make it very visual. And I, I, I put colour into my paintings. I mean, it, it, it would be very easy to paint them in sepias and, and greys and tones. But I, I'm taking these paintings into schools and show, showing them to children. And, and it's in, in my mind, it's, 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 a, it's a way of putting it across where they're going to be vibrant. They're going to be vibrant. There's plenty of life in it. There's stories in every painting. Every painting has its own story. <laughs> and this is one of the things that your your art definitely brings to life, sort of the, the what, I, what I refer to as the hidden history of Swansea, because obviously there was one very major impact on Swansea, which certainly is somebody who's come from outside of Swansea and has come to live here. You don't, the, the history of Swansea is not on the surface because so much of it was, was destroyed during the Second World War, wasn't it? That's correct. And, and that, is, that is one of the reasons why I'm doing Swansea Past, Present and Future. The 19th and 20th and 21st of February next year, 2021, will be the 80th anniversary of the Three Night Splits in Swansea, when Swansea was completely obliterated. Now the cent central piece of the exhibition will actually be a painting of the Blitz in Swansea, and it's one I'm working on. I'm working on the, the designs of it now at the moment, but that will tell its own story, and then from that, then is the regeneration of the city, the regeneration of the town, as it is today. And of course, a, a really good thing is, of course, is, is that Swansea's development is, is, is underway at the moment and this massive amount of investment in the city. It's great to see it. It's great, it's great to see things actually being developed in the city. So we've got Swansea's past, Swansea's present, and now we can build up on Swansea's future. And uh, that is the idea behind the whole exhibition next year. And Ideally, it's to bring in not just it's, it's not just my me and my artwork. It's to bring in performing art, uh, plays, talks, exhibitions from other so, people as well. So, is there is 
is there still development work going into this project? Absolutely, it's still in its early stage. So what oh, sort of so things are you you looking for? If, if there's anybody who's watching this who's really interested and would love to be part of this celebration and wants to see what they might be able to contribute, what sort of things are you, you hoping can come together? I'm, I'm hoping we can have certainly performing arts to do things, to do something, whether it's street art or whether it's in 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 buildings, um, perhaps plays. Uh, I've been in touch with a few there are a few people already and quite interested in the in the subject, and some of them are very, some of them are quite well not well renowned uh, people. So it, it's 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 building up. It could build up into a very very big event and it would be nice if, if, if it's a success next year a, a big su success it would be really good if we could do it on an annual basis because it's something that uh, we Swansea past present and future it has no cut off date <laughs> it, <laughs> it's there you know it always will be what I want is a celebration of the city as it was, we tell the history, the history will be there. I mean, some of the things that I'd like to see, Dan, is with my own artwork, is to see it photographed and projected on the buildings around the city. You know, you, you, you pass it, right? You know, that, that, that's, that's what I'd like to see. But tying in with that, of course, would be um, performing arts outside and, and all sorts of things going on. Has anything, has it got to the point yet that there is an email address or something that people can contact? There will be within a very short period of time. It, it, most of this has come together through For the Region, of course, um, with Dave Jones and, um, and Stacey Ademnik. And uh, we've put in that together. We form in, we, we, we're gradually making up a, a very good active team. And of course, the, the organising and things like that. I, I mean, that's the last thing I want to be doing until the end, like, you know. <laughs> but, um, but certainly, the, the, the ideas, um, we're, we're having regular meetings, we're building up on it. It should involve um, Swansea MAD as well. That's, um, I'm, I'm hoping to have a couple of meetings coming off shortly. With uh, with Gare right and and to see how things will, will progress there, because um, some of the things they were talking about was actually putting these these paintings to animate them, so they got movement in them, you know, and things like that would be really great, like you know, especially if you if you're doing exhibitions and things like that with children. Well, there's, there's a nice link there because the video that the voice to be shared before this one airs, will actually be Geraint uh, at Swansea. Ah, yeah, that's great. That's absolutely great. So we've, there's a few, I mean, ideally it's to bring a few crea you know, creatives together. And, and uh, you see, my, my work is my work and I, I'm banging on with it. But it's great to have other people, other creatives coming in on this and, and, and to build it up into something really special. How on earth I'm going to do... <laughs> do this justice condensing it down to 10 minutes i don't know but <laughs> we'll see we'll see um so I, what i'm encouraging people to do to sort of bring these conversations towards an end is is asking people how they well I, actually it hadn't occurred to me this perfectly fits your project what is your future vision of swansea well yeah Yes, I, 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 I can see Swansea actually, Swansea is in a state of, of regeneration and development and it, it, I can see Swansea definitely on the up and I think that um, over the next few years and it, certainly it's, it's going to create a terrific amount of employment. It's great to see the university actually being, um, its status is increasing continuously, They're expanding on it all the time, it's, 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 it's becoming uh, it's internationally renowned, and so uh, yeah, it's an exciting time, I think. And uh, and I think if, I, if if people are watching this and, and think, oh, you know, there's not much going on around the area and all the rest of it, they, they really need to open their eyes and have a good look because uh, it, it 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 is. I mean, I I born, bred here, raised. I see things every day, uh, even today that 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 are. are 
certainly moving moving Swansea on in a positive way. That's fabulous. Thank you so much for, for taking part in this, Jeff. And I, I certainly will be stepping forward to join in and contribute in whatever way I can with the, the Swansea past, present and future project. Well, we'll see now when I turn this off and fingers crossed. The whole <laughs> <thing is back. laughs> yeah, they stopped banging and drilling now, we knew we would. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeff, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, we, ca- yeah, we must have a catch at some time, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, take care now. Okay, come on. Bye-bye. Bye.